Hey folks, Marcus here from the Ash and Fly Shop. And today I want to talk about the Mo Long sink tips from Rio Products. These are 15 foot long Mo tips that pick up right where the original tips leave off. And they're designed in three different sink rates. So you get the Mo Medium, that's a T11, the Mo Heavy, that's T14, and then the Mo Extra Heavy, that's T17. And within each of those, they have a lot of different sink rates for you to choose from, from a full 15 foot floating all the way to 15 feet of sinking material. So with these out there, you might be wondering why you might want them. And that's what we're here to talk about today. So I've got one of my favorite setups here, the Sage X 13 foot seven weight and a 525 grain Rio Skagit Max. And for me, these Mo Long tips compared to like a 10 foot section of T11 or even a 12 and a half foot section of T11 or T14, personally, they just give me a little bit more anchor stick, a little bit more dig in the rod. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more load in the rod. It turns over really well. So first and foremost, I like how they cast, especially on a 13 foot rod. If you're out there and you have a 13 and a half foot seven or eight weight, and you don't have a longer version of a Skagit line, you just have a standard Skagit line, the 15 foot Mo tip is a great way to add a little bit of length to that line, give yourself a little bit more anchor, a little more room in your D loop without blowing your anchor. And that, that's just probably the first and foremost use for these products is just getting the most out of these longer rods and making the line setup really perform how we want it to. Outside of that, you get, you get that length and that anchor, but you get to choose your sink rate. So right now, this is one of my favorite casting tips on here. It's the Mo Long T11, and it's got 12 and a half feet of T11 and two and a half feet of floating. So I just get a little bit more D loop behind me, but I still have that 12 and a half foot T11 mark, which for me in December, cold water, it's just a great fishing tip and I use it all the time. So on this 13 foot seven, if I had a 14 foot seven or a 13 and a half seven, that's just a go-to tip for me and it's a really useful one. So with these tips, when I start folks out with a beginner setup, you know, a 12 and a half foot seven weight, say it's a Reddington Dooley, we'll often put a 500 grain or a 525 grain Rio Skagit Max on there. And more often than not, I do a 10 foot sink tip for someone learning how to spay cast. It's just, it's an easy length to pick up out of the water. It's an easy length to turn over when you're casting. And it's a good fishing length. And you know, there's nothing wrong with a 10 foot tip. I just found personally, when I started fishing more and learning a little bit more about casting and practicing that I always gravitated to the 12 and a half foot tips over the 10 foot ones because I just felt like I was able to get more energy in my D loop back behind me. And these 15 foot tips for me just take that up another step. I feel like I'm able to get more energy in my cast. I find them to be maybe a little bit more powerful than a 12 foot, 12 and a half foot tip. It's probably cause they're heavier. You know, I'm introducing a little bit more load in the rod, but that's what I find is that on a 13 foot rod, I feel like I'm just getting a little bit more out of it. And I like that. So while they might not be the best tip for a beginner to start with, as you progress in your casting and you start to want more out of your D loop and build more energy into it. I think the 15 foot Mo Long is a really good product for that. The other reason why you might look at these is if you want 15 feet of straight sinking material, which we didn't have available to us to just buy right off the shelf. And now we have a 15 foot P 
piece of T11, which is really useful, 15 feet of T14. And then if you're in a winter situation and you really want to get down, you can do that with 15 feet of T17 if you want to. It's a lot of sink tip. You need a rod that can, that can carry that amount of weight. But if it's useful to you in the river that you're fishing, I mean, that's just an awesome way to go. So when Mike McCune and Scott O'Donnell and Ed Ward designed these, they were solving a problem that was out there in the industry, which was that they wanted a consistent length of tip at 10 feet long, but they wanted to be able to choose the length of the sink tip and the amount of sink rate that they needed within that. And so Rio, in conjunction with those three, made the original Mo tip, and these just pick up where those leave off. And they really, on these 13 foot rods, 13 and a half, 14 foot rods, they really are a nice tool to have, something that you should keep in mind and keep in a sink tip wallet for when you might use one. Thank you very much for tuning in.